Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Black Girls Living. You're joined with Vic and Jasmine. And we have another guest in the building, another mm-hmm. superstar guest. <laughs> Can you introduce yourself, tell the people who you are? Yeah, sure. Hey guys, it's me, Leonie Joyce. And yeah, here on Black Girls Living. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, did you say and Jazz? Or did I come to you? Yeah, I did. I did. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Completely zoned out. Um, can you tell the people who, what you do? Yes, I make um, fun dance, fashion, concert videos online. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, mm. YouTube. I'm sure you've yeah. seen it. Like, you <laughs> literally dominated the whole of lockdown. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, for real. Um, what I remember, the first video I remember seeing of you, forgive me if it's not your first ever one that you ever did, but I'm sure it was the Beyonce. Yes. Was it was it Freak? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Was that your first video or was that was so that was the first of what I'm doing now. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, but I've been doing it for a while, but that was the video that went viral. And then I was like, okay, let me do mm. more of mm. this because it was just a random idea I had to do it. Wow. And I saw how well it was received. So I was like, yeah, let me That's crazy. keep this going. Yeah. How long, when you say for a while, how many years is that? So I started on YouTube actually. Oh, really? When I was about 15, 16. So wow. 14, 15 years now. Yeah. Wow. Wait, <laughs> are you 30? I'm 30 this year, yeah. Wow. You don't look, I mean, I always say that to people and I'm like, is that insult or not? Eh, it's a compliment, I guess. I keep yeah. forgetting that we're getting older. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, you don't look 30 at all. Yeah. Do you get ID'd? You probably get ID'd a lot. Yeah. I got ID'd for Lemsip. <gasps> wow. And I was like, guys, this wow. was when I was like, this was a few years ago. Mm. And I was like, I've got my work, what is it, lanyard? I'm like, you have to be over 16 to, to work, work, right? <laughs> By the time I did this, I couldn't get it. Wow. So. Oh, you couldn't get Long it? Long day, wow. yeah. That's like me and my local Tesco. They know who I am. You know me. <laughs> That's annoying. They So they know me. You know me. Mm. Uh, you know me. I've seen that TikTok. You know me. Yeah. You know that's actually from Captain America. Anyways, um, is it? Yeah, with Bucky. You know when Captain America kept it's saving hilarious. Bucky, leave him to die. I know that sounds mean, but just leave him <laughs> to die. I'm so sorry, but you were saving him all the time. Anyways, um, I bought a Red Bull. And they mm. were like, no, you can't. What? Said, you know me. Yeah. What do you mean I can't buy this Red Bull? Is it a certain age to get Red Bull? I think yeah, 16. You have to be 16 and over. And it's even rude because what, without makeup, I have real black, at, like, black, um, um, what's it called? Bags. Uh, what 15 year old has got back? I've been through life. <laughs> <laughs> it's really insulting. And sometimes you want to flip, but it's just like, I'm just going to embarrass myself. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I've been, I've been I- ID'd for it all. Lottery tickets. Um, Lottery. Uh, Red Bull. Mm. Yeah, I just to the point now where I just whip out my ID. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, yeah. I don't want to be insulted, so let me just <laughs> let me just take it out. Yeah, let me just be ready. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. How's life though? It's good. It's I'm trying to think of the best way to describe it. It's life is where I wanted it to be wow. right now. Mm. Um, because as I was saying, after doing that Beyonce video and things started to take off. A few months later down the line, I decided to try and do this full time, Mm. which meant moving back home. Mm -hmm. Um, And when I moved back home, it wasn't like, or when I decided to do it full time, it wasn't like money's coming in, I've made it. It was a big risk. um, And I started to see it paying off slowly, but surely. But I think one of the biggest indicators for me to know that, okay, I made the right decision and it's paid off would be I'm able to move out. I'm able to, you know, keep the lights on. Um, and that's where I am now. So yeah, I feel quite uh, happy. And where you that. live now, like, is it better than how, where you lived before you moved out? Oh, 100%. I mean, before you moved into your parents' house? In the first yeah, because I was living with my sister before. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think what made it so nice is because we were living together. Yeah, yeah. But it was an okay place. But where I am now is... If you told me I was going to be living here, I wouldn't have wow. even been able to believe it. Yeah. Luxury living. <laughs> oh, what, what did the girl say? Soft life. Yeah, soft, soft life. life. <laughs> love that for you. Love a soft life. That's so yeah. nice. Yeah. And do you feel like where you live now, you have space to like really create your content like to the best of your ability? Oh my God, 100%. Mm. And even just, because when I was living at home, I would film in my living room, which meant rearranging mm. the whole thing every time. Oh, wow. Waiting. Yeah, I'd move the sofas to the side, take out the tables, yeah. roll up the rug, everything, and then set up the green screen. But even outside of that, waiting for my dad to leave the living room. That is Ooh. so funny. Yeah. So he's like, I'd be filming at like 2, 3 a.m. Whereas now, I can just set it up and it's ready. And 
it just everything looks aesthetically how I'd want it to. So if I have to yeah. record a story, I'm not trying to make shift, make it look how I want it wow. to look. Like it's good to go. That's crazy. Yeah. That's real dedication, you know. Because like <laughs> there's like one space in my room where I can take pictures, but it means I've got to move my desk. Mm-mm-mm. I'm like, no, nah, I'll just wait until I move out. <laughs> and you <laughs> know when that's gonna be. Yeah, but I'm just like, exactly to take the picture. But you really rearrange that. You know, sometimes, yeah, I I have on my phone I've got quotes and it's like all the really, really strong quotes I've heard in my life. And there was one quote, it was like, is your excuse good enough? Mm-hmm. I could definitely move that um, that desk. And you've literally just said, like, I've rearranged a whole living room. And I, and I know you've done bare videos, so you yeah. probably do that every night. And it's That's like crazy. 30 minutes to set up, 30 what? minutes to pat down. down. But when you do it so often, it becomes, it's just what you've got. Like coming in to record mm-hmm. this podcast yeah. for you guys, mm-hmm. people are like, oh my God, taking out an hour of your Saturday every morning or whatever to come and do it. But it's not just me. You're, oh, well, get in here. <laughs> yeah. Get no, in do you know what I was thinking about the other day? So <laughs> I work from home, but mm. we have, we work in the office like once a month. Mm. And when I was commuting and when I was in the office, it made me realize how much I appreciate black podcasts. But I feel like people listen, or even not just black podcasts, but just black content creators as well. Mm. And people listen or people tune in, but they don't realize how much effort goes into it. And honestly, I know people say this all the time, but you might see something and... For example, I'll say a podcast. You might see you might see a podcast, right? And you're just like, oh, they're just chatting shit. Cool, yeah, we're chatting shit. Yeah, we chat shit. But the hours to get here, mm-hmm. the hour to edit, mm-hmm. to do socials, mm-hmm. to 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 cut it for um, you know, promotion, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's so much that goes into it. And it's like, I don't know, when I was commuting, even though I do this, I'm a, I'm a podcast, it was when I was commuting that I really thought, wow, I really appreciate people that do this. Because I needed mm. something to listen to. I needed to hear black voices mm. talk about black shit. But I feel like with your content, when I look at your content, content, I immediately know how hard it looks. Mm. Like, it's not something mm. like, you know, sometimes you have those complexes where like, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but with your content, no, I don't think I can ever. Remember that video of that guy that says he's better than Messi and Kristen? Wow. <laughs> what training? Yeah. <laughs> I, the other day I was in Wanstead. I called my brother. I was like, oh my God, I'm in Wanstead. He was like, oh my day. Wow. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I think I could. I think I could have him. I'm like, I'm like, wow, you've been training messy. your life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you even make it to, for the under 17? Boy, I've you never didn't. seen that guy before. In wow. My life. I don't know. It's not like thing where men said that they can beat Serena Williams. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's yeah. the same kind of thing. Yeah, but yeah, when yeah. I see your videos, I'm like, yeah, yeah there's no I way. Could never. Because <laughs> it looks like you, because not only are you have loads of characters in the videos, they're reacting to like, you got to make sure they're reacting to one thing as well. Make sure it's all aligned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. And I'm sure like the green screen, the editing, yeah, it's not it's not easy. I, I do feel like sometimes I think one day I might actually go crazy because it's like wow. the way your mind, like you have to be performing. So I say if I'm doing a video and I'm pretending to be, I don't know, Whitney Houston, mm-hmm. like trying to bring out her mannerisms, but remembering that something is about to go down and you need to react. And then if you're the main singer, you have to like, you know sing to the crowd but remember when the choreography is going to come in but at the same time like if you're actually on stage you can see it Mm -hmm. and it jogs your memory to be like okay this is the next dance move I can't see Mm -hmm. it so I just have to remember but not let it look like on my face Mm -hmm. like I'm thinking about this so yeah it does (laughs) How, how long does it usually take you to like edit or I guess maybe start to finish a video. Like, how long is it usually? So, like, getting ready for everything. Mm. So, finding the outfits and makeup, say, about an hour and a half. Mm. Then setting up is another 30 minutes. Then if I have to even make or learn choreography, that's another 30 minutes to an hour. Then filming it. Now it's at the point where it's, like, an hour and a half to film. And then editing. If it's a quick job, it could be, like, four hours. But like, a quick it, job is four hours. <laughs> I knew that this would be a lot. I knew it. I knew it. But it, sometimes it can take up to 12 hours mm-hmm. to edit. Yeah. So it oh could be, it's gosh. normally a whole day job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And also, how do you do it so quickly? So sometimes a, a song will drop. I don't know what song it would, but <laughs> a song will drop and like, it's not even, where we've not, I've not opened my eyes. <laughs> I've and seen you, your comments. Yeah, I've seen, I was coming, I'm like, I've not opened my, I've not even fully taken in the song, but you've already done a video to it. <laughs> so... Sometimes I feel like I haven't been doing it as much recently, but if it, especially if it's an artist I like, mm-hmm. I know they say, "Oh, my song's coming out on Friday," so I know, especially if in there the US, that means five AM our time. Mm-hmm. So I'll be up at like four AM maybe and get ready, mm-hmm. then hear the song at five AM and decide what I'm gonna do for the video and go wow. downstairs and shoot it and then edit it and then get it out. 
it's not. Because oh. I think you did it for Ariana Grande. Yeah, think, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Positions, I yeah. think it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these aren't even like, you don't even compromise on the quality. That's crazy. <laughs> That's really. What do you, do? Well, how do you feel when people copy you? Like I've seen, I've seen some stuff on yeah. TikTok and I said, how come you didn't credit? Yeah. Mm. So it's like, it's something I said to myself, it's going to happen. Mm. And if I'm 100% honest, that's why I keep adding on and adding on. So it's harder okay, to copy. Yeah. And that's why I always try to stay consistent. So if someone does come and do it, mm. other if I don't see it, someone else can be like, oh, I've mm. seen Leo and mm. Joyce do that. Um, but so I always say to myself, it's going to happen. The only time I've ever had an issue is somebody saw other people doing it. Mm. And they said, oh, this is my style. Mm -hmm. Tell people to credit me. And I was like, no. Wait, about you? Uh, no, about uh, someone so else. So it was someone else saying, oh, oh credit me. Yeah. I'm not saying, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I, I, need that, I need that confidence. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Because even I wouldn't say that. Yeah, yeah. Because mm -hmm. I know, no idea is 100% original. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, the way I started doing this, I was recreating Beyonce free come dress mm -hmm. music video. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't say... It's my own style, but when it's, I guess, clothes flying and stuff like yeah. that, that's when it's, it's like very obvious. Mm, mm. Yeah, <laughs> especially when you, we all know, like you've gone viral for it. Like everybody, everyone's seen your video at least mm. once. Mm. So yeah, it's definitely. Well, who's the biggest person that's like reposted you or giving you a shout out? Because I know a lot of celebrities have posted you on yeah. their page or even commented and liked. So I'd say okay, maybe three. Oh. Mm. So the shade room was a big yeah. one because that was like a big goal of mine. And mm -hmm. so I had it on my vision board for ages. Mad. So that was big. And then, I'd say, sorry, I hope nobody takes offense. I'd say Biggie and Whitney Houston because they came back from the dead. to Wait, hold on, 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 hold on. I came back from the dead and you still know that girl. Wait, hold on, repeat please, but even, even huh? ex expand and elaborate. In, Biggie reposted me on his story on Instagram. <laughs> I don't even know story. how to feel. I don't even know how to feel. Why is the person taking over Biggie Smalls' Insta yeah, doing up Instagram was, stories? I was like, I wasn't even sure whether to tag him in the video, but I was like, oh, whatever. And then when it reposted, I was like, I guess this is a big achievement, you know? <laughs> Oh my Not God. from the dead, please. I'm begging you, please. And then like Janet Jackson was a big oh, one. Oh wow! Yeah, that was like whoa. She's amazing. Um, and randomly Viola Davis because she it wasn't even her wow. song or anything Do you like know what? that. She be loving videos, you yeah. know. Yeah. Have you yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. Viola yeah. Davis be reposting yeah. it. Yeah. Like, I feel like she's just like Do you know. I'm just to be like. This is how I use social. <laughs> a lot of people post their, you know, pictures. She's like, no, let me post these yeah. cute shit. I see like that. She's yeah, yeah, that's cute. So yeah, hmm. those are the main ones. I've What's seen. your who's your who's been your favorite? Like someone shared it, you're like, Jesus, that's someone I rate highly. Mm, mm, mm. I think Viola Davis was because mm. I love how to get away with murder so much. So I think mm. that was, I guess, because it's most recent mm -hmm. as well. Mm. Um I'm still waiting on, you know, Ariana Grande, Beyonce. Don't worry, listening. it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's pending, it's coming. <laughs> Let's talk about some pop culture stuff. Mm -hmm. Have you, oh, go on, Jazz, you want to say something? No, no, no. Do you know what? I wanted to, I wanted to bring it up, but I'll probably bring it up a bit later. I'll, I'll oh. save it. I'll save oh, it. Okay, let me, let me get, let me get a little bit. Yeah. Go on, yeah, yeah. go on. <laughs> so, I don't know if you guys have seen this conversation online about the woman from Location, Location, Location hmm. has said... That it's easy to buy a home. Mm. You know what? That's, this is actually the conversation I was And <laughs> not only was I upset that it was my babes from Location, 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 because that's one of my favorite shows. No, but you know she's bad vibes. <laughs> like, no. Oh, she, she is bad vibes. Is she? Yeah. Do you know, that's one of my bargain hunters. Oh, my days. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm working from home, I put it on the TV. I'll be watching. I'm like, oh, like look at what these people are doing. <laughs> These are my favorite shows. When I, you know when you hear mm. that somebody from your favorite show is doing a Mazda, you mm. just think, let it not be so. And mm. usually I don't jump the jump when I see a headline. Mm. I'm like, let me read the article. And that's what I was reading before when I told you and Brent I was yeah. going to zone out. And the article is worse than the headline. Is oh. it? <laughs> <laughs> so the headline, let me, okay, let me get the headline right. The headline is, of course young people can afford a home. Just buy somewhere cheaper. Mm -hmm. Right. And in the article, it gets worse. Do you know why? Because she says, basically, number one, she says, young people can afford to get on the property ladder if they give up luxuries such as gym memberships, foreign holidays, and looks at cheaper places. That's so wow. Then she says, it gets even worse. Um, okay, this is the bit that literally made me yell. 
Even though she's old as No, 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 no. Maybe stop being wrong. Sorry. <laughs> even though she's 50 years of age, mm. she when she bought her home at 21, guess how she did it? Uh, from her parents? With the help of her family. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So you mean to tell me <laughs> I must not go to the gym? <laughs> that's that I'm paying 19 pounds. In fact, I'm paying 17 pounds 99 up here. Oh, yeah. that's really good. Yeah, no, you know what you get those cheeky deals. <laughs> you know me? I don't care. I'll cancel my deal and I'll come back when it's cheaper. So you're telling me to quit my 17.99. I already live at home. So mm-hmm. I'm already one of those people that people said I'm privileged, that I'm living mm-hmm. at home and saving. Mm-hmm. She said, even cancel that as well. <laughs> <laughs> so then, yeah, she said that she's enraged that we say that we can't afford it. Enraged? Homes. She's enraged. Then she says, this is the bit that made me shout. I, do, I think you have to, okay, in quotes, I do think you have to ask yourself, what is your degree giving you? Huh? Huh? Guys, she's telling you to quit your degree. <laughs> I do think you have, to, you have to ask yourself, what is your degree giving you? Can you get a job at 18, stay at home with your parents for three years and save every penny enough for a deposit? Is this, is this for real? This is for real. She then says she recommends young people moving up north. It is difficult, but if you're if you have family down down south, and if I was in your position, I would move that. I would move up north. This is what she says. And then the article is actually quite cheeky because I think the journalist clock that she's actually saying a lot of shit. And they said, um, you know, the average deposit for a first time buyer is fifty nine k, according to Halifax. So if you were to give up your um, Starbucks latte, Netflix, and gym membership, gym membership, this is what kills me. They even said EasyJet flights. So they said cheaper to cheap. You would have to be saving for thirty seven years. Uh- Wow. Yep. Yep. Crazy. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Like giving up a Starbucks or gym membership or something. Add it up over the year. It's not it's that much. much. Mm-hmm. Not at all. Mm-hmm. Not at all. And the fact that she's even encouraging people not to have degrees. <laughs> just <laughs> I'm sorry, Literally. that's just wild. I know. There's a lot of reasons to say, you know, maybe, you know, if you don't want to go to uni, mm-hmm. not a problem, blah, 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 blah. But to say to, to, buy, a house. to buy a house. Like give up Starbucks Okay fair I'm not going to do it But fair mm. But to tell people Don't work out And don't mm. learn Don't learn Don't learn <laughs> Wow yeah. It's a lot yes. So much pressure To own a house mm. It's too much pressure So then I saw the conversation Online chef That everybody Add their two pence mm. And one conversation That literally finished me Because people Put in the conversations all sorts of ways. Then the conversation went to how comes people with council houses are you know being drippy mm. and drippy and and then I saw one conversation that's, it was like that's what I wanted to talk yeah. about. Yeah, I know we're going off to yeah, another yeah. segment, but someone mm. said in, in regards to council houses, someone said, "How can you look nice if you're poor?" Yeah, yeah. What she said, God. she said, "If you're poor, I want you to look it." But the thing <laughs> oh is, my yeah, God. this is this is what I wanted to say. You people like, are evil. You know, you know, Venn diagrams. Yeah, you know, you know, <laughs> the other day when. People are saying that, you know, um, homeless people shouldn't be wearing North Face mm. or Montclair. Uh, yeah. The people that are saying that and yeah, the people that are yes. saying council houses, people that are in council houses, they shouldn't have Sky TV, yeah? Sky? Oh my in the God. middle, they're the same. It's the same person. Mm. Because what the hell? What the hell is that kind so of you mentality? So you can't have Sky. You, actually, can't, you, you can't have anything nice. Actually, there's a, I don't know how you can find him, but there's a man that does a black box. <laughs> It's you can't promote that. <laughs> Fifty pounds, okay, for the year. Um, okay, the, the thoughts of Victoria Sanusi or Victoria Sanusi alone. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think about that? Because when I was reading that article, I just article. When I was reading that article, I was just like, oh man. Do you know what it reminds me of? It's mm. like, for example, okay, so I don't bring anyone into it. Let's say no, I, I won. Them. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say I won a million pounds, mm. right? And then I started going out and giving advice on how mm. to build wealth. Mm. That's what it's sounding yeah. like. Or mm. if you're like deemed attractive by society, um, you date somebody famous mm. and your Instagram blows and then you start giving advice on how to become a content creator. Mm. That's basically what Not it's sounding like. Not you the folks. No. <laughs> it's true. People be lying. Yeah. Yeah, because... No, go on, Jazz. I think you're going to say No, something. no, no. I was just going to say, it's just interesting how... Um, like I think Kirsty of all people I, I just feel like The older generation Like If you bought your house For 20 grand Like I feel like It's very cheeky mm. For you to be there And be like Oh you know Just stop eating Stop Like what <laughs> Tell me what Like Everyone has made Their sacrifices Don't get me wrong But mm. When you bought your house 30 years ago mm. What sacrifices Did you have to make mm. 
did you did you not get a degree? I bet I bet she has a degree. I bet she even has a master's. <laughs> and you're telling people, you're telling young people now, yeah, forget your degree. Um, and also move up north. It, where's you, where did you buy your first home? I know. Because I know it was in South. I know it was in the same South of England. Exactly. Yes. So rude. So it's like, I feel like a lot of these conversations, they forget the real issue. Mm. Like the issue is much bigger than young people just not being mm. willing to make sacrifices. A lot mm. of people are. A lot of people are working really hard. A lot of people are stressed about mm. buying their first home mm. and feeling like they'll never be able to own a home. Mm. So it's like, these kind of articles are not helpful. Mm-hmm. Who who do they help? I don't know. How does it help to tell someone who's lived in London all their life? Yeah, just move up just north. Move up north. Mm. It's very unfair. Also, yeah. I feel like um, some people even have the money for the deposit. Mm. But also another issue is affordability, the affordability criteria. So mm. they timed your salary by 4.5. Yeah. Mm. Um, but what why that's cheeky is you could afford to rent somewhere that's like a mm. thousand three hundred a month, right? Yep. But when it comes to affordability, like repayments, they're just saying, "Oh, you can't even afford to pay six hundred yeah. pounds." Mm. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? mm, it's mm, mad. Mm, mm, it's mm. mad. Like That's they will true. just be like, "Oh yeah, you can only afford um to buy a a zero point five bedroom, mm. not even a one bed. <laughs> they say zero point five. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's so rude in this mm. country. Like, in America, that's why you always see them in the keys because they're buying up large homes. Because mm. they, I don't know what they're doing. They're really allowing them. But in this UK, they say, <laughs> you know what it is, yeah? Like you say, they're really allowing you them. You know what in this UK, yeah? <laughs> you know what in this UK, they love to suffer. Like, do you know mm. what, yeah? They love to be like, because they didn't even suffer too tough. But the people that suffer, they're like, because I suffered, you must not drink Starbucks. Because, mm. of, but a lot of people love to do that. Like, um, I actually like Z's emails. So when mm. I heard her opinion on this, I said, not you. Mm. Wait, what did she say? She said that um, her mom put her through um, private middle school. Pri- pri- that's it, private school. And, you know, she sold her car. So you've got to make sacrifices. And I get that, but I could be wrong. But I feel like if you went to a private school, like I know someone who makes like six figures and she sends her child to private school. And she even told me that she stopped doing that because she just feels like it's too much money. Mm. And I Googled it and it's like, I don't know how it was back in the day. I'm not saying this is old, but like, it, obviously it's probably changed in the last 20 years or not. It's like, from what I saw, it was like 20 grand a year. No, yeah, that's mm. about right. So I feel like you must have some privilege to send your yeah. kids to private school. I'm not, do you know what I mean? So kind of coming online and saying like, oh, well, you just need to sell your car. It's like, it's not that. Also, we have good education in this country. Mm. <laughs> you can go for free. <laughs> okay. I'm in class with middle class people because some of the middle class people are thinking they're probably thinking I ain't paying money for that let's go on a lux holiday <laughs> <laughs> or let me save that money to buy your house yeah exactly let me save that money and give you a deposit mm. Mm. but yeah I just I just feel like a lot of people love to do what if I struggled you must too mm. a lot of people love to mm. do that a lot of people and and I know that if I ever buy I'm very lucky in the sense that I know that I can live in Essex comfortably yeah. because I've always lived in Essex but mm. to tell like my London friends like I always joke and tell my London friends, come to come to Farrakh, but I always say that because it's it's a black place anyway. Vic, Vic mm. actually always says that. I say to everybody, come Farrakh, come Farrakh, come Farrakh. But when I'm looking at, at your door, you're gonna be upset. But why are you coming to my door for? Go to your own house. <laughs> <laughs> or give you a warning. No, 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 no. But like, cause my place in Farrakh, it's so easy to get to London. Mm. Like, but I know, and and there's a lot of black people because I know a lot of people are like, oh, I don't want to move out because I don't want to go somewhere there's not a lot of black people, mm. and I get that. But Farrakh, I know, guys, I'm putting you on. Go to Farrakh, bro. <laughs> um, but I understand you can't be telling someone who's lived in London all their life, oh, come Farrakh. They're probably thinking, shut the fuck up. I don't want to believe with the cows <laughs> because in my area there's no cows, but in Tilbury there's cows. Yeah, mm. my friend took a video on that went viral. There's cows walking on the street. <laughs> <laughs> but what about you, Leonie? Like, did you feel any pressure to like? I don't know, have to, I don't know if you've bought yeah, or anything, yeah, yeah. but do you feel that pressure to have to own your own home or? Um, no, and I never have. Like mm. even something as small as like, or oh, not small, but I, ca- I can't drive. I don't drive. Mm. And I've, I said I from the get go, I don't want to learn. I please, don't. Those, I'm actually, actually, let me not police your life. Just, <laughs> yeah, you, no, you, but that's you, everyone's you, reaction. I'm like, I'm fine not knowing how to drive. And people are like, what if this, what if that? I'm like, no, it's cool. Do you live in London? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's partly why. And it's like, there's train, there's everything, there's Uber. Mm. Um, and even like buying a house. Now I'm looking at how things are going. I probably could save mm. and get a house, but it's never been at the top, top, mm-hmm. top of my priority. Mm-hmm. Like I need to get a house. And 
until I sit down and properly take time mm-hmm. to think about it, then I'll be like, okay, this is what I want to do. And I think a lot of people just do it because it seems like the checkbox yeah, of what definitely. you want to do. Like even down to having kids, like people think, okay, you have to have kids because this, mm. this. but do you want to? Because mm. you need to want to, to make sure you are a good parent to these kids. And I think these are things that people don't mm-hmm. think about. So yeah, No, you're that's, totally yeah. right. Totally, totally, totally right. Mm. I think there's like a lot of pressure to be like, I don't even have to, to explain it. The point has le- the point has left my head. So I'll come back. I'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I think I think yeah. There's like a lot of pressure to reach certain milestones, mm. and I think as soon as people hear that you're a certain age as well, it's almost like okay, so like kids, mm. marriage, mm. Mm. house, mm. Mm-hmm. like w- which one are you doing? Yeah, like it, it's unacceptable for you mm. to say nothing's going on right now like <laughs> yeah. I'm just living that's how I feel sometimes I, sometimes I feel like I had to get over it but sometimes I feel like some people might look at me and be like what's this girl doing <laughs> like she's not serious somebody there's no tick boxes at all but I just mm. but yeah you don't know you don't really know like what people are doing or or to be fair also I don't what's it concerning you like for example when people rent People love to be like, oh, you're putting money down the toilet or, oh, you're doing this. Mm. Oh, you should buy. But what if the person has no desire to buy? Mm. Also, why don't we think about ourselves? Like, okay, I want to buy, cool. Why must you force somebody else to buy? Mm. <laughs> mm. It's what you mm. want, not what. And I think it's holding a lot of people back from doing what they want to do. Because there was, mm. I did have moments of doubt, for example, when I moved home and I'm like, I'm 29 or about to be 29. I'm quitting my job in the height of the pandemic Mm -hmm. to move back to my parents' house Mm -hmm. to dance in my living room to try and make Mm -hmm. a living. Mm -hmm. Like, if people actually know that, be like, are you all right? (laughs) (laughs) But you have to, like, just make your own path and not follow what everybody deems as what's right. Because it kind of worked out. Of course it's working out. (laughs) Girl! Please, because I'll I'll play your success (laughs) unit. I'll, I'll be on, I'll be on uh, what's it called? TikTok saying, yes, yes me. me. Credit me. Yeah. Wait, claim it, boy. Somebody else claims it. <laughs> claim your success. But yeah, people, I don't know, there's so much pressure on on our, on our generation. And mm. it's so hard. I don't mm. think people understand how hard it is. Mm. Like, it's very, very hard. Like, even I know some people who are trying to buy, and there's two people, and it's still hard. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's, it's too much. It's way too much pressure. And also, it's just the suffering thing. I just, I don't know why people love for us to suffer. Mm. And like even when it comes to like okay we're in a we're in a po- more of a privileged position because there's people who are um in places where you know they they are struggling with um home issues homelessness etc mm. and then for example now they want to go and buy like a a Gucci perfume people are saying why the fuck are you doing that yeah when you can go to Audi it's so mm. unfair like mm. I just I just feel like we we live in a place where we really hate people to enjoy yeah or maybe we have to enjoy in secrets. Yeah, I think that's the key. Mm. Like, just enjoying the secret. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's too much. It was the council house thing where it was just like, if you, why are you in the council house and you're wearing, um, I'll never forget this tweet. Why are you in the council house wearing uh, Alexandra Wang? No, no, what, Alex, what's that? What's them shoes? That McQueen? Shoe? Yeah, McQueen. McQueen. Mm. What? Mm. That, yeah. Because for them, that might be that one thing that's going to bring them joy in that moment. For me, it's food. Like, Mm. I could, there was a point Mm. where, you know, money's a bit tight. And I'm like, "Mm, this might not be the best decision, Mm. but I need to take away tonight. I can believe. (laughs) (laughs) It's been a long week, you know? I do that every week. That's the problem. I'm like, let me make myself feel better. I know I shouldn't, but I'm on my last 20 pounds, but. Boy. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, have you guys seen the this. Tinder Swindler? Mm. I haven't watched it yet. No, have you heard no. about what's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Do you know what? Yeah, I feel a bit uncomfortable that people mm. are making jokes about Simon. Like, I'm like, maybe am I being sensitive? But I'm like, this guy really like stole millions, mm-hmm. like mm. millions, mm-hmm. and um, he only served five months in prison, and I'm just like. I don't know if we should be making jokes. Yeah, because if I, I, I hear yeah. what you're saying. Because yeah, okay. if I was those girls. Yeah, I'd be pissed. But yeah. it's inevitable. <laughs> no, it is. Do you know what I mean? It, it, even if he served 10 years, it, we will still be making the yeah. same drinks. Mm-hmm. We'll still be saying my enemies are after me. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, mm. I, I hear what you mean. Yeah. I hear what you mean. It's just, it's just making me burn as if he took mm. money from me. But Jazz, it, let's make sure we're next to the mic. Because yeah, yeah, thank yeah. you guys for, for pointing that out. Like, turn us, get closer to the mic. We appreciate it. I should mm. shout it at us. 
Oh yeah, we needed it. <laughs> Shout that means she means it. Get close. <laughs> All right, I'm as close as I can comfortably yeah. be. Um, yeah, I just feel like Simon. Do you know? Do you know what it was? It was the fact that he was threatening them as well. Like it was mm. just a lot. A lot was going on in that thing, mm. and I was, I was trying to be not problematic. I was like, me too, girl. I was trying my. Did hardest. I first tell you about this? No, I don't think no, I did. No, 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 no go on. But I was trying my hardest mm. to be like her darndest. Mm. Yeah, I was trying my darndest not to <laughs> not to judge. Yeah. So basically, you know, basically, they mm. it was this Donny called Simon, right? Mm. And he pretended to be a. Billionaire, billionaire, not yeah. a millionaire, a billionaire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he would meet these girls on Tinder, take them on private jets, mm. and take them on dates, or meet them at a hotel. Sometimes he'd be meeting these girls maybe once, yeah. but he'd be carrying on conversations, you know, romancing them, mm. love bombing, you know that word that's mm. going around. And then he'll be like, oh, I need money, my, my enemies are after me, or I need money mm. because my cards are blocked. Mm. And these girls would be sending stuff like from around 20k, 25k and one ended up sending like a grand total I think calculated all together was like a quarter of a million mm. was it a quarter of a million? yeah, yeah. Um, and then at the end I don't, I don't know are you going to watch this should I ruin it for you? Uh, will it ruin it? nah I was going to no, say about the eBay girl yeah no nah mm. yeah so basically one mm-hmm. girl at the end uh, is it going to ruin it? I don't know I never know what's going to ruin things for people. Yeah, no, I don't know. A uh, one girl, mm. I feel bad. I think because it's not a film. <laughs> yeah, it's a doc. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So one girl at the end, she was like, "I'm, I'm, I'm selling your stuff." Mm. She sold all his stuff on eBay. Uh, yeah, got her money back. Oh, well, I don't know if she her. got the full amount, but yeah. 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 <laughs> but I think what Jazz is saying, actually, no, you you take it away, Jazz. Yeah. All, all I was gonna say is that, um, obviously, do you know what? Yeah. I try to be as reasonable as possible. Mm. So I'm thinking from their point of view, mm. they have met this guy. Obviously, the first red flag would be that a billionaire is on Tinder. I would <laughs> and and you know what? Yeah, the guy, like he's he's handsome. He's he's a good looking guy. So mm. it's like the fact that a billionaire is is on Tinder, okay, maybe I can accept that. Mm. You want a bit of fun? Fair enough. <laughs> Um, and then he meets these people and he he um, takes them abroad on a private jet. So I'm like, okay, like mm. I would get twanged by that. Mm. Not to say that I would go on a private jet after one day, like somebody did. But if you, you are seeing... That's this, what the girls did. Oh, know? I thought you went on a private jet. No, no, yeah, no. no it's, it's not like that's <laughs> dragging me in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, I'm just trying to process it from their mm, point of view. Because mm, they've mm. met this guy. They've met him in a five-star hotel. Mm-hmm. Then he mm. said, do you want to come ab- away with me? Mm. They're sending their passport details immediately. I'm like, yeah. When I was doing that, I said, <laughs> the Nigerian in me, I don't know why you're carrying this passport. I don't know who you're trying to bring into this country using my passport. I couldn't believe but okay. it. I couldn't believe mm. it. But okay, you've gone abroad now, mm-hmm. and then he's what, what is he doing? He's buying buying them designer stuff. He's mm-hmm. um telling them to go and view apartments. And saying he's going to give them money. Mm. Um, and then he starts talking about his enemies. And I'm like, with only a month to go. And then mm. he's asking them for money. So I'm like, at mm. this point, surely mm. you would say, why are you not asking your dad? Mm. Mm. Your dad is a billionaire. So the dad, the, the, he's basically like a trust fund baby. Okay. That's what, how he's meant to be. Okay. Yeah. So, so his, his dad, his, his dad apparently money, yeah. was the king of diamonds. Mm. Mm-hmm. And um, he's like the heir to all of the diamonds, yeah. mm-hmm. whatever. And he has his own company as well. But he's saying that he has enemies after him. So, um, yeah, he can't use his cards. So that's mm. why he needs to use their cards. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'll be thinking, why, why are you asking me? Yeah. Asking yeah. Me? With my mm. simple nine to five, <laughs> you want me to take out credit? Mm. Or surely you've got other friends with money. This, this is what I'm saying. Yeah, a sis. billionaire should have at least millionaire friends. <laughs> <laughs> at least. At least. <laughs> at the very least. Yeah, I trust me, Jasmine. I was watching it and I was trying my firstly, I was watching I, was, I got a bit bored. I, was, really? I forced myself to watch that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Forced myself. And it wasn't even mm. trending or anything, but I, I remember seeing the advert time mm. ago and I thought, oh, this looks good. So I forced myself. I was actually quite bored. And this is probably why. Because I, I tried my best <laughs> to not to judge them. Yeah, and like like, I was... Okay, I'm not going to lie. I'll be honest. <laughs> when I was watching it, I was thinking, oh my God, how stupid can you be? I'm not going to lie. When I, that's what that's what was putting me off watching because I was thinking, I don't know if I can sit through another woman telling me I gave him 20K. I, 
just do it. Oh, I emptied mm. out my savings, my house mm. savings, to yeah. my house. Maybe Christy, I don't know what Christy has to say about this twin that sits as in like <laughs> keeping your house Kirstie. deposits. Yeah, Kirsty. <laughs> what to say about this one? I'm sure she's vexed. She's enraged. <laughs> but mm. I just felt to my like I, I, I can't lie, I did struggle. Mm. And but then I, I really tried my best to be like, Vic, it's a different situation and not everybody. Some people can can afford for these kind of things. And also, I think he's very smart. Very. Very smart because he knows who he's targeting. Mm-hmm. He, he presents them with this lifestyle. He he makes them trust them. He makes sure that he knows yeah. that I have these people at the palm of my hands. Anything mm-hmm. I say. And yeah, it might not work for me, but it doesn't even mean that I'm better. Yeah. Also, I saw a lot of people online being like, I will never give money to a man. I'll never do... Sis, you're lying. Aloni knows that you're lying as well. <laughs> Aloni. Aloni knows. Aloni knows everything. I only see somebody else too. Like, no. <laughs> a lot of you are lying. Oh, I'll never give money to a man. Yes, you did. Mm. A lot of us have done stuff for men. Like, we're, mm. we're really ashamed to say. Do you know what I've done that I'm ashamed to say? Oh. I, I bought a guy um, takeaway and I sat there and I didn't eat because it was my last, my last 17 pounds. Oh, my God. And I watched him eat the food and I didn't... <laughs> That's very. By the way, kind. not my current boyfriend. He would never in his lifetime. He's such a sweetheart. <laughs> but and I and I watched as he was eating, and I, and, and 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 I didn't buy anything for myself. Oh, so yeah, wow. we've all done stupid things for men. So mm. so everybody's sitting there like, oh, I never. And yeah. yes, you have. <laughs> yes, you have. Maybe it's, maybe it's not to the degree of the twin destin though, but yes, you have. <laughs> Some people have taken out cars on on their name for men. Yeah, they have. They and have. you know, even men, and I hate signing with them, but they probably seen your tweets going, okay. Mm. <laughs> I see you. Mm. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't lie. I'm not going to lie here. If a guy asks me for 20K, I'm saying no. Mm. It's also over. Yeah. That's, Thank you. Yeah. I'm mm. saying no because, and the thing about me is, but I don't know if I'd say no because of my, my relationship with money. Mm. I've had people borrow money off me, like mm. large sums, and they never give it back. Mm. And... I've also got into a place where I'm okay with saying no. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know what? Yeah, when you when people ask you for money yeah, and you say no, they do this thing like, oh, I can't, I can't go, I can't travel abroad now. Oh, I can't. Okay, what's I got to do with me? <laughs> <laughs> no, respectfully, what's I got to do with oh me? So I'm, when that Simon guy said to, to, to the girls, oh, sell your car. What was respectfully, yeah. what's that got to do with me? It doesn't mm-hmm. have anything to do with me. Mm-hmm. And when you see it from that point of view, you realize that you 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 you're doing nothing wrong by saying no, but yeah. we've been so socialized to be like you need to help your man to any degree, mm. and it's true. He's really made them believe that you are the one and only. Yeah. He said he said to the babes, "Go and look on apartments for me." Yeah. Da, 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 da. As Jess says, buying designer bags, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You really think this is the one? But mm. for me, there was a lot of red flags that I can't even look past. But mm-hmm. you know, they got twangled, and also sometimes I think we need to be like, okay, yes. Yes, they've given them the money, but they're giving them the money now. So what can we do now? Mm. <laughs> the money's gone. So what can we do moving from, from here? Like, how can we help the girls? I know they're doing their, their GoFundMe. I can't believe that. I can't believe people are actually donating. And you know what, yeah? I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm, go- I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sound really, really mean. Mm. But I do feel like they... <sighs> If I if I if I get dragged if I get cancelled I think we, it, this is this is my and I'm being very honest with you fo- I was I, I wasn't foot going foot to be but <laughs> <laughs> I I genuinely feel like if he was not a billionaire they would not have done that's why he's anything smart. yeah because they thought they would have got their money back mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. but but not even to do with that I mean as far as like going away on a private mm-hmm. jet with mm-hmm. him on the first day meeting him at a five star mm-hmm. hotel. Going or accepting the fact that his baby mom was on holiday with them. Key, major key alert. Because Aloni said, said, "How can you be traveling?" So basically, when when they went on the private jet, yeah, the baby mom was there with a the child. Oh, yeah. So they all traveled <laughs> together. So I'm saying, I'm thinking, if he was not a billionaire, would you have accepted? accepted this? Yeah, I was going to ask, was he charming? They said he was, but I feel like they were charmed by his. Because that, that's what I was going to say. Not, this is the issue. Like, mm. people are a bit too materialistic because all I had was designer bags, oh. apartments. I did, for me, that wouldn't touch with because people mm. say it never could be me and then it's you. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> hey. for me, it's the personality that mm. would draw me in, not the material things. Yeah. Yes. But, yeah. yeah. But do you know what it is, yeah? Do you think if he said he was a millionaire that it would have worked? But they had billions and said, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I think it's just the mm. fact. Yeah, I think it still would have worked if he was a millionaire. Mm. I'll be honest. Um, 
But I just feel like half of what he got away with, mm. if if that was a regular Joe, a regular Joe, mm. you would even be in the group chat saying, "Cool yeah, now, cool. so I can yeah. get out of this." Yeah. But Leonie's right because he was not charming. Oh, he yeah. wasn't. To me, he even started to be angry. Yeah, he, he would be like, <laughs> "I love you." Like, yeah. like he was shouting. Like, he, I should know. That's me, taking the piss out of his accent. No, it wasn't even that. It was more like he didn't. He didn't. From the videos, like you know the video clips where he was like, "Oh, I'm thinking about you." Da, da, da. To me, it didn't seem genuine. And yeah. what he would do? Sorry, he would he would send the girls videos of him being like, "I'm thinking of you." And for <laughs> me, it sounded it, it came. That's me, anyways. I don't know, but it came across cringe. However. Mm. I do think, oh, aside from the materialistic stuff, I do think a lot of us live in fairy tale, mm. and that was a, the the number one mistake. Mm. We live in fairy tale to the point where we forget about reality. Mm. We for, and one thing that finished me, <laughs> you know, um, catfish mm. by Nev. Mm, yeah. Is his name Nev or Nev? Mm, Nev. Nev. Yeah, yeah. How long has been doing it for? Tell me how many years. Over ten years. Ten surely. years. Yeah. <laughs> He's been working hard to show us that people are liars. And do you know there's been different types? It's not even just catfish that is like it's a remember different the one person. that pretended to be Bow Wow. Oh, I remember. <laughs> well, there we go. There's different different types. Mm. It's not just catfish that oh, it's you know pretending. It's it's the person, it's the actual person, but they're not who they say they are. Mm. You didn't pick up on anything, and I know it sounds mean. We're, we're dragging, yeah, we're dragging these girls. Sorry, we're dragging them. <laughs> yeah. You didn't think to to think of any of any of these things at all. Mm. You just went along and we'll, it's just giving them money, giving them money, giving them money, giving. Mm, okay. And do you know what? Yeah, so he was writing them blank checks, um, like checks for like to repay them. Mm. Checks weren't going through. One mm. of the girls was crying. Mm. Oh my god, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Did she still stay? She, mm. I think that was the girl that um said she went to meet him so he, so he could give her the watch, and the watch was fake. Oh, they've tried in this life. <laughs> they have. Tr- and I really am trying to side with it. Because I even, someone tweeted, yeah, no, it's um, Habiba, this journalist, and, I, and she tweeted, I can't believe he asked for them this money. And I tweeted, I can't believe they gave it to them. And a lot of people tweeting me like, you know, you kind of need to look at it from a different perspective. And trust me, guys, I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like such a bitch. I really do feel like such a bitch because I, I want to emphasize with them. But I think it's probably just a case of, of he is really smart. And he's mm. just, he's really good at manipulation. Mm. And do you know yeah. what? Yeah. I bet you any money, there's a, probably a hundred girls that didn't fall for it. Mm. That didn't make it to the documentary. Yeah. Because, and and also there's another conversation of people be like, oh, if it was a black girl, would it have worked? Yes, I understand that. But those black how, girls too. How do they mean? Like if the if the girls were black, would they, they probably want to, like black girls, they're not going to fall for that. They're not going to. But black girls are, are, are buying, uh, getting cars on for guys on. <laughs> and then I saw also another conversation. Mm. Obviously, people don't like to make it about race, but everything is about race. Mm-hmm. But they were saying that black women wouldn't <coughs> even have access to that amount of credit. What are you trying to say? <laughs> That's nasty. No, Someone but, tweeted that. No, but it's true. <laughs> yes, we would. <laughs> My credit score's banging. What do you mean? Um. Usually, anyway, like if, if I go to the bank, I, I think I think to be honest, I don't know if it works. Or like the, wealth, yeah, I don't know if it works the same in America as it does here. Mm-hmm. But um, in America, I know that your access to credit is um, also based on your area. So like, like what area you wow. live in um, and stuff like that. So your demographic, and mm. they say it's very common for like a white person and a black person that live in the same area. Mm-hmm. One would get the credit, the other person wouldn't. Mm-hmm. So. I don't know if it's the same over here. I think over here it's usually just based on, you know, your credit score mm-hmm. or whatever. But I think it was an American that said that would black women even get the the credit? Okay, that's wild. To be able to take out that loan. <laughs> very wild. Very wild. Very wild. But you know, I suppose it's good he doesn't like black girls because <laughs> <laughs> love a black woman to infinity to infinity. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. Wild, 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 wild. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like there's lots of little bits where I'm like, I can see why that would convince them. So like mm. when he was sending them the receipts, like, you know, when he was sending the money back and he would give them like a receipt to show them that he sent the money back, mm. stuff like that. I'm like, okay, I can see how that's convincing. Um, There was one where he even like gave, he made her an employee of his business and gave her... <laughs> Gave her like a fake wage so that she would have access to more, to more money. money. 
so she would be able to take out more money. Oh. So even stuff like that, I would be convinced, like, right, he can actually like change my my wage. Okay, mm. cool. Maybe, you know, it's legit. Mm, but no. <laughs> because why are you changing my wage instead of using that money? Like it doesn't make any sense yeah. to me. Like, mm. I don't know. And also again, if anything, let's just take it on board. Don't feel bad to say no to people. Mm. If people ask you for money, like honestly, guys, don't feel bad. And they might be saying, Oh, you're the love of my life. Guys, they will love, they love to say, oh, but you're the love of my life. That's why I'm not paying my rent. No, I'm saying no. I'm saying no because it doesn't make sense for me to pay your rent and my rent. Mm. I'm going to say no, period. Like, let, if, if, if there's anything we can learn from this, let's just say no and not feel bad about it because 100%. he was really making them feel bad. Oh, go and pawn your car. Are you fucking mad? <laughs> my car has 300 pounds, but you're on private jet. It's, it's not, I don't know. Yeah. That's what was making me sick as well. Like he was asking them for money, saying, oh, my enemies, my enemies. Oh, I need this money. I need this money. But you were still living the same life. So you were still going mm. on the private jet. Mm. It's not cheap to go on a private so jet. So why don't you stop going on a private yeah. jet for one month and exactly. you can recoup that money? Yeah. Exactly. Instead, it's me. Mm. <laughs> Do you know the one that finished me? Oh my God. So basically there was one babe that he was saying, oh, we're gonna, I'm going to uh, live with you in an apartment. <clears throat> but I don't think he ever gave her the money. And she put the, the she, sorted, she paid for it, right? The thing is, I don't, I don't even know how remember. that is. Yeah. yeah, but I know he said, oh, I'm going to give you the, the department money or whatever. Mm. I don't know what, I think she what ended happened. Up with mm. Who is um, uh, What was I going to say? Yeah, I kind of wish that they spoke to people that didn't fall for it. But then it wouldn't yeah. give, it, maybe it would have, I don't know, maybe it would have made those women look bad. Like, oh, look how stupid yeah. you are sort of thing. Mm. But I'm pretty sure a lot of people didn't. Yeah. 100%. Mm. No, definitely. I'm, I'm sure... But it's it's sad. It's a very awkward one, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's crazy. Um, but yeah, going, I definitely recommend yeah. you watch it. Are you guys watching Love Is Blind or Too Hot to Handle? Oh, so thank you so much for reminding me. I forgot. <laughs> oh, yeah. I saw the notification. Love Is Blind is back. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm oh, watching that guys, soon. Okay. Oh, it's good. Is it? It's good. Not as good as the first one. I don't yeah. think. Actually, that's that's what I was worried about because you know usually when there's like a second season mm. of something that was really successful in the first mm. one, you're I'm always worried of like oh are you gonna match up to it because yeah. when I think of what was her name Giancarla Gian in the first oh, one yeah, yeah yeah you know the one that was G- like Gia, Giannina she, yeah she was in like oh, a she soap, was crazy a soap <laughs> opera like yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved I'm her. like yeah I loved her so much mm. like will will the second season be up to par so yeah. I don't know how's Do it know, going so far then. Mm, they're not as crazy as the first series, right? Mm. Actually, no, there's some crazy characters. Oh, my God. <laughs> to be fair, mm, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just as crazy. I like <laughs> um, But I'm up to the bit where they, um, they've they left the pod and they're okay. in, like, the Hollywood destination. They're getting uh, to know each other. You know, and they're in the bedrooms. Oh, yeah. Are we sleeping together? Are we not? All mm. that kind of stuff. So it's interesting. And they meet the other couples. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it's interesting. Really, mm. really good. Um... There's some really bastard men in there. Wow. Really? Really? Some bastard men. And they got, you know, those kind of like blonde white girls who are just like, well, all the guys love me. Mm. And then they get a bit of shock of their life. <laughs> there was one girl, yeah. And I was just like, no. She was like, oh, yeah, because I'm blonde. I've got blue eyes and I've got big boobs. I just feel like guys just like me, but they don't like me for me. Like, they don't like me for. Oh, and you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes when people talk about their problems, you're just like, <clears throat> no, I can't relate. Obviously, I can't relate, but you just like, Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and then a the black woman there was going, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, don't say, yeah. I don't know if that's sarcastic here, but it's just like, it was just wow. like, shut up. Like all the guys like, it was just, no, fuck off. Yeah. That's embarrassing. Mm. Mm. Have you guys seen Too Hot to Handle? Didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have I have. I started watching it, but I was like, I just don't know if I can continue anymore. Mm. What? Yeah, just because... I'm like these people doing a lot. Yeah, like it's really disturbing me that you cannot relax. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. do you know what? it's always been disturbing Jasmine because even in the first one, Jasmine was really bothered yeah. by it. Like I'm not gonna lie, like there's 200k now on the line, and mm. you're telling me you can't just not just just for one night. Like, Jasmine, they can't. Mm. They need to have sex. They need to kiss. They need mm. to. It's too much. Do you know what? They're, the casting team did a really really good job. Of yeah, because with me, yeah, I'm. Maybe I'm boring. I would have been a boring. I, I would have even got evicted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> L- Lana would say, "Oh, you're not, you're not yeah. taking." But, but I just, <laughs> I want right. the money. Wait, I want guys, the money. Have you never been? Have you never been on a date, right? Mm. And you're just like, "Oh my god, I'm really connecting with this person. Mm. The vibe is good. The energy is great. The chemistry is just." And you just want to kiss them, no? Oh yeah. Sometimes when I'm with my boyfriend, I just look at him and be like, 
let's do it right now, right here. Like, exactly. Right now, right so here. imagine if, and knowing you but can't, money on this, makes on this you thing. want to do it again. <laughs> And if, if he, even, even if he comes up to keep, to kiss me, I'm like, move my friends. Yeah, there's money on the table. Are you mad? <laughs> but you know what they're thinking? If I was in there, what I'd probably be thinking is, number one, I may not even get this money. So mm. why don't I have a good time? Wow. Number two, this is, I'm going to blow after this. Do you know what? I'm going to blow. And I'm going to make money after I this anyway. Is, you're so smart. I'm going to fucking blow. Where's the blow? I'm going <laughs> to blow. And it always blow. Oh, my days. Because I remember, I'll never forget when I went to Francesca's page. Mm. And she had, let me see if I can remember. She had like, not even just one million. Her and Harry. Yeah. They, I think they left. They, yeah. On the day of the show. Oh, who's texting me this? Mm. Oh, it's my Chinese restaurant. Wow. <laughs> They said happiness brought to you by delicious food. Wow, of course. <laughs> That's, That's nice of them. I know they are cute. Okay, um, 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 Francesca, Francesca. I'm pretty sure Francesca's on five million. What? I could be wrong. Let me see. Let me see. Francesca. Why is she not coming up? Does anyone remember her last name? Mm-mm. No. Oh. oh, sorry, guys. That's all right. Francesca. I'll have a look as well. Love. It'll search in like two hot to handles followers or something. Why am I writing love is blind? Um, 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 um. Who do you like from this series then? Um, oh, I watched it a while ago. Let me try and remember the. I really liked um the couple. They were both from the UK. Oh, I love them. Yeah. Absolutely obsessed with them. What was her name like? Bu. Georgia. Oh. Oh, Bo. What's her name? Bo. Bo? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bo. Bo and what was the guy's name? He was remember. from like Newcastle. Yeah. Harry, oh, Harry, Harry, Harry. Mm. No, he thought he looked like Harry Styles. Sorry. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry, so, like... so sorry. No, you don't. Uh, yeah, Francesca's got five point eight million. Oh my god! Listen, wow. as you said, they're gonna blow. Yeah, so, what's two hundred k? That's one post. <laughs> oh sick. <laughs> Do you know what? What finished me? I don't know if you're up to this jazz. Um, too hot to handle. When the black girl. Said two things. That one black one black girl said, "Oh, I'm I'm wearing my real hair." Do you not clock that when she said that? No. When did she say that? One black it was like the first episode. One black girl was like, "I'm wearing my real hair." I said, "Okay." Mm-hmm. These black people, these white people can't even tell. So okay. <laughs> Anyways, and then another one was when a black girl came in and she really thought she was going to take someone's man. And I think which one was that one? Oh, she wanted well, she the was, South African guy. Yeah, but she was fucking stunning. Mm. Let me see if I can get the cast. I wish they found out about what really went down. Where was this? Because the South African guy was like trying to really put it on her, no? Oh, yeah. And then it never fully got found out. Mm. But from my research, I haven't looked recently, but I don't think they're still together. Oh, really? The South African guy and the American girl. Okay, so it was mm-hmm. Bu. The girl from London who... But, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Do you want to know who won? I don't mind. Yeah, she won. She was really okay. cute. I, she was my favourite. Yeah. Then there was Nathan. I can't remember him. He was the South African guy, no? Yeah. Okay. He was. Um, who was the very unserious person? Nathan. Was it Nathan? The one that they chopped off the island and he came back. Yeah, Nathan. I absolutely hated him. <laughs> what? He came back? Came, so he they chopped <laughs> him off because he couldn't stop sexing. And then they said, I should come back. And I f- did he make it to the final? Yeah. <laughs> Why he was do you keep putting the people the, that keep sex into yeah. the final? This is what I'm saying. <laughs> he was up for winning. <laughs> I was like, really? And you're also, also, you know that black boy? He was really cute. I can't the, remember his The name. Canadian one. He's dark skin, yeah. Obi. Was it him? Yeah, Obi, yeah. Mm. Oh, yes, yes, yes. He kept saying, I need, uh, God bless him. I need to pay for my school fees. <laughs> <laughs> I need to pay for my school fees. <laughs> he kept saying that, you know? These lot didn't have no, oh, no they real... Didn't care. I said my school fees, my school fees, guys, my school fees. <laughs> Klana didn't, is it Klana? What's the name? Lana. Lana, Lana didn't even consider him for anything. He didn't even kiss him, he didn't fucking yeah. nothing. And he really tried. He tried. <laughs> <laughs> Don't piss me off. But that's why it's like, if I feel like if you go in too hot to handle, there's definitely like a way you need to behave. You need uh, to act like, oh, I'm always, I always want to have sex. Yeah. You need uh. to act like that, break the rules a few times and then um, pattern yourself mm. and then you're going to win. Mm. Basically. Jesus. Georgia, she was the one that kissed the other girl on the first night. Oh, yeah, yeah. She was the Australian girl, when, right? When they were kissing, I said, what kind of nonsense? <laughs> because, you know what, yeah, because you rules. kiss for a thrill. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even like it each other. Was... You kiss for a thrill. Oh, let's break the rule. Let's start now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that's the point, yeah, where I was like, I don't think I could work. I could work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
George has definitely seen the show before. Yeah. yeah. Um, so George was on 700 K wow. Instagram. Can you imagine, guys? Jesus. Um, but yeah, George was the one all the guys fancied. Like, yeah. I'm not saying George is not um buff, she's gorgeous. But mm. you know, sometimes men will single one girl mm. and make all the other girls as if they clap. Oh yeah, George, I can't get enough mm. of her. She's so stunning, mm. fucking sex bomb out. Like, she's yeah. fucking, she's fucking rocket. But the other girls are just as fine. Yeah. Mm. And it, I'm not even I don't know, I don't sound problematic, but I was looking at George and I was like, no, 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 it's done something. Mm-mm, say it. What do you have that the rest of the girls don't have? Because mm. I thought they were all really buff. Yeah. But you know what it might be? It might be an in-person thing, maybe. Okay, yeah. yeah. Sometimes, because sometimes I look at some of the girls, they're like, I'm like, what? Mm. And then I think maybe in person yeah, is yeah, the yeah, different. It's a bit different. Yeah. Because apparently, you know, George, um, what's the girl from Love Island? That's with Toby. Chloe. Chloe. Apparently, people say she looks prettier in real life. Mm. Don't you think that's mad? People say that. Yeah. So what do you think I look like online? On TV? Mm. <laughs> in fact, don't even tell me such a thing. <laughs> Do you remember Holly? Holly from the show? I can't remember. Her. Mixed race. Oh, yeah. One. No. Uh, she was the one that was from the UK. Yeah. I'm pretty sure she was from the UK. Um, mixed race, right? I don't think she was mixed. I'd be... Oh, no. Her. She was from oh, the US. That's the one that's oh, She US. was with Nathan. Nathan. She yeah. was very on. Oh, she, she couldn't stop. Oh, yeah, one. they couldn't stop. They couldn't stop. Holly was. No, she was nasty with it. Mm. Her and Nathan, they were actually absolutely nasty. They could not stop. But at times it seemed like she was trying to hold back. And he was. Yeah. What's she on now? She's on half a million. Yeah. Oh, I thought she, I thought she'd be higher than yeah, Georgia because she has the mm. Instagram. Look. So do you remember <laughs> that guy Patrick that was singing? Yeah. Oh, that was awful. <laughs> Why? So in Love Is Blind, a guy, a guy sings as well. You can Oh man. <laughs> and it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> that's my. That's my biggest nightmare. Like, yeah. even if you can sing, don't mm. sing for me. Because mm. I want the ground to swallow me up. Because where yeah. do you look? I know. It's I know. so awkward. If someone sang to me, I think, oh. I, think I would cry. I know. <laughs> yeah. Because it, it's it's a lot. Like, even, mm-hmm. you know, even when people sing happy birthday to me, like, I, I hate it. I hate you. <laughs> but it as long as long. And do you know the worst? Thing? You know when you're smiling for a picture and your cheeks start yeah. shaking? That's yeah. what I feel like when it's, because you have to <laughs> smile while they're singing. Oh and then you're you like, okay, this, <laughs> this is... Just say fuck it awkward. <laughs> get, get off the floor. Sometimes they'll be on the floor. Oh, oh, oh cringe. No. Uh, oh, the black girl, her name was called Jazz. What's her name? Jazz. Jazlyn. Was her name Jazz? I think they called her Jazz, though, yeah. Mm. Was she in it for long? No, she no, wasn't she in it for long. Yeah. She, got she got kicked out. out. I for following that was the rules. Unfair. Yeah. <laughs> With Lee. <laughs> her and the Chris Brown guy. Yeah. Or whatever, yeah. Wait, was this the girl that was very, very. Yeah, no, she was beautiful, but there was. Mm. No, it was her. I think it was her. No, Jazz was there from the, the beginning. Start. There was yeah. another black girl yeah. who was like very, very, very yeah, 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 yeah. And she didn't last long either. But you know, black girls don't be last, last long on such a show. That's a shame. Who won the last series? Was it Marvin? Yeah. yeah. Why did they give it to him? He was and, a bastard. Yeah. Because, because but why did he also why didn't he split the money with a girl? I don't. I don't know how how it works. Do they have to split the money? In you can split. Them, but okay, so let's say you can't split it on the show, but you can go to your bank account and split the money. Yeah. I, I probably wouldn't. Mm. You wouldn't? I won. <laughs> what do you wow. mean? <laughs> so if we, if we ever see you on Love Island, you're not splitting the money. No, no, you know what, yeah. In this country, you have to split on, the money. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Because people take people it will hate to, you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On, on Love Island, gonna, You ain't going to make no bag. Yeah. But if you give no, you me the no money... <laughs> <laughs> Just that you don't make no money. <laughs> you're not going to make no, no bag. No profit. Yeah. No profit. Sorry, sorry, Han. What are you saying? On... On Love Island, yeah. I was split, but Too Hot to Handle, they single me out and say, you won the money. How can you say they single me out? I won the money. Wow. You I'm didn't my babes. I'm in love. Mm. <laughs> See, I'm the, I'm the girl that Simon imagine, with, the, with the twangle. From imagine the, if Tinder. Melinda won the one before and she split it with no, uh, Marvin and then yeah, they're not even true. together yeah, anymore true. now. Mm. It's true. It's true. Speaking of socials, um, this week, Nelly's... <laughs> Oh no! Okay, so Nelly accidentally posted a very naughty video <laughs> to his socials, mm. and for me, there's it's two pronged. One, there's the embarrassment of obviously posting mm-hmm. something you shouldn't have posted, mm-hmm. but then to mm-hmm. know that I've now done that, and mm. the conversation online is not very complimentary to my. <laughs> Body parts package. Yeah. <laughs> How do you proceed? Firstly, 
How did it end up on your Instagram stories? Because somebody said there's so many processes that you have to go through yes. to upload. And now I'm not just talking about Nelly. I'm talking about mm. all everybody that uploads things <laughs> by mistake. If you're just listening, quotation marks there. Eva, I don't believe it's by mistake. Eva, someone took your phone and did it. Mm. Or there's, is there drugs or alcohol involved? Mm. And then you, because you can't upload something you by can't. mistake. But so, so, not a video like a, such a like lot, that. A lot of people are uh, theorizing that he was supposed to post it to his close friends. Okay, okay, you pause there. <laughs> Why are you putting a video like that? That's on your what close I friends? said. That's what I was he? saying. Some people are doing that because there was someone, someone, what's his name? I think he's on Wild and Out. He's called Hitman Holler or something mm-hmm. like that. So he does the same thing. Apparently he posts those kind of videos on his close friends. Why? For his friends to enjoy? Yeah. But people can screen record but that's, it and post that's, it. And that's exactly no, but, what okay, happened. Okay, guys. So I, someone from his close friends screen recorded it and then leaked it. What, Nelly? Uh, no, this Hitman the, the Holler hitman. guy. Shame on him. <laughs> my, my thing is, because that's not your close friends. Also, why are my close friends enjoying me having sex? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to understand again with yeah. the slender. I'm trying to understand <laughs> why my close friends must see me give must see somebody giving me head mm. and a here head? a head and here. What do you mean? Sorry, and here and here. Let me mute it. <laughs> I need to understand because what's my close friend? You might even have family or close friends. Mm. So, so, so I need to understand. Yeah. I don't think I'll ever understand. I'd because um, that was the video. I think someone said the video was old, right? Oh, the thing is, I don't even know. So, if it's old, how is it? How did it get wanna, to because the... you have to swipe you to have find to scroll, it? Scroll down, <laughs> unless I mean, you meant to send it because you can, oh, okay, or what if someone, yeah, or what if the girl was like, Oh, hey, do you remember this video or whatever? And, <laughs> and she like sent it to remind him, oh. and then. He's like, and oh, he was, I've got content to post to my close friend. Oh, gee, okay. And maybe, then, yes, maybe just, he was, or maybe he was drunk. And then the girl sent him the video and he had a story he was going to upload. Mm. And it was there ready, the first video. Wow. But now she sent the video. It's first in the camera roll. <laughs> and he's drunk. Camera. He doesn't even know. So he's like, yeah, yeah, upload. Yeah. Cool. The, the two of you should get into PR. <laughs> <laughs> because, do you know, okay, maybe he meant to send it to a girl, the girl. Yes. Mm. I said, oh, do you remember the time when we had yeah, hot, hot Hotbox <laughs> But instead of sending it to the girl He sent it to the story. story Yeah That's the only one I believe I'm so sorry Everything else is boy. <laughs> I'm like Why would you What, what about WhatsApp? <laughs> yeah Why, why but, would you send but it Instagram, by Instagram? It's not If you send it like that In the story way She doesn't okay, have it, it vanish, forever yeah. It vanishes um, Also Some people actually just Talk on Instagram They don't have each other's numbers Yeah, yeah. So there's that mm. But Oh, I don't know, man. I saw uh, Jasmine sent me this video. Of, apparently, this is what Nelly actually finding out. He's he's actually doing like a press junket, mm, yeah, and with he's with Kevin Hart. Yeah, and he goes on his phone and he's like, "Oh, oh no!" And then yeah. Kevin's like, "What's happening?" He goes, "Oh, don't worry." <laughs> <laughs> so it, it apparently it's from when he realizes that he's accidentally posted it on his story. Is it? So accurate? he's like, "Oh God!" But um. We, I don't know. We don't know if that's yeah, true. Yeah, we don't know we if don't it's know true, true, but th- this is what they're claiming. Yeah. They're claiming that this recording happened at the, at the point. And it looks like he, he looks like he's hot. Like yeah. He's, and it's like, almost looks like he's trying to show Kevin like, oh, <laughs> like, oh, look at what I and did. Kevin's looking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just said the conversation is about his meat and how big it is. And I feel sorry for him because that's not what, what was meant that's to happen. Not, that was not part of the plan. Mm. Maybe, maybe it was, you know. Maybe he's doing this to, to advertise. <laughs> But it's not good. And everyone is gunning it. Me, I'm not involved in that. Do you know what? Yeah, do you know what's good? I, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. But um, do you know what? Do you know what's good for him? 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 Moaning is very attractive. Mm. I was that. So very good for you. I was going to say mm. when people say that they want men to be more vocal, mm. is this what they're talking about? Is this what we very bring good up for you? <laughs> very good advertisement. Oh my! Because you know people say, "Oh yeah, I'm a bee. you don't have very good advertisement." That's why I said I heard it because he was very vocal mm. and very um, encouraging. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He, mm. I feel like in that moment, she probably felt like I did yeah, a great I job. Didn't, yeah. Exactly. Uh-huh. Even she got criticized as well. I'm like, wow, what did she do? Wait, they were saying that she wasn't good. I I'm, I'm good saying job. they. I'm saying they. What was he meant to do? <laughs> I thought it was all right. It what felt like, yeah, because again, I heard. 
I was like, he was doing a good job. She was, I mean, for him to be on like that, she's enjoying it. Yeah. Like, she, yeah, so, uh, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask, is there anything that you've accidentally posted to socials? Oh, yeah, I accidentally, wish- so... I've definitely posted shit that was meant to be for close friends on <gasps> my. But usually, mm. I don't post anything too bad on my mm. close friends, anyways. Mm, mm, um, mm. But yeah, I've done that. Like maybe I was, I don't know, I can't remember now. I don't know, slagging off something. Uh. Any one of my. But I always make sure whatever I post on close friends can actually go on my main. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. I've, yeah, I've yeah, done yeah. that before as well. Like it can, like it. Mm. People might be like, oh, I should share a lot, but it can actually live there, like mm, in, yeah. in case of anything. So. Mm. And shit that I need to tell my friends, I'm going to tell my friends on WhatsApp. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because it's so easy to just... Very yeah. easy. And also, I'll be, I'll be watching my shit over and over and over and over and over again. Mm. And sometimes you could just miss it. Yeah. Mm. So, have no. you? Yeah. yeah. What was so, it? So, okay, so basically, I used to, for a short period of time, I worked as a social media executive. Mm-hmm. So I was like running different Instagram pages. I used to run a page oh, no. for a dog supplement brand, right? Mm-hmm. Um. And then I went out for my friend's birthday. Yay. Um, and he's, he's crazy as it finished. is, right? So we're right. out in the club. And then what is it? Um, what's Burner Boy's song that's on the um, Lion yeah. King album? Uh, 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 uh. That Jared. Jared. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you know the bit is like... Uh, uh, yeah. uh, and then my friend's just in the club. Yeah. <laughs> like, so I'm recording him to say... Fucking to hell. post it to my story Not knowing it's on the page I get a WhatsApp Like in the group chat Who put that on the story And I'm like Are you the only black person on the team? Number <laughs> <laughs> No <laughs> One of two But what makes it worse I'll say it, I don't care What makes it worse The company Was my ex's huh? He's my ex at this time oh, When this bit So not shit. only So already is awkward at Where I am Yes Yay. He's my ex, so it's already awkward. Now I'm up. <laughs> oh, yeah. shit. How long was it? How long was it online for? I got it down within like maybe thirty seconds. Oh, okay. But they saw it because you know sometimes you delete and people still see yeah, it because yeah, it was yeah. loading or something. But if anybody on the page, hey. dog supplement brand, and you've seen some guy, he was even wearing a daishiki <laughs> top or something. Make sure you scream. It's, it's how you explain how he was moving. So yeah. they probably were looking at you like, what the fuck <laughs> is this? Get that shit off. <laughs> oh my God, is even your ex? Oh my. Yeah. How was it working? How was it dating someone you worked with? So I didn't have to go into the office and it was all um, cordial. Like we, we ended on very amicable terms okay. mm. and it was all good. Um, the end of me working there wasn't mm. good. Oh. All I'll say is it wasn't good. And was it because of him? Yeah, a hundred percent. He is a waste man. That's oh, what I'll wow. say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Sorry, yes, yes. It's no, nah, it's all right. It's a shame because mm. I. It was a something I looked at so highly that we could end on good terms. Mm. We could work together well. I had no issues, but I blame lockdown. Oh wow! <laughs> a lot of people had too much time. On yeah. their hands. Lock- lockdown was the devil yeah. in so many different ways. Mm-hmm. My gosh. Mm. What does that mean? Do you know what? I'll say it actually. I have no yeah. um whatever for him. So when it came for me to stop working there, mm. okay, so even before I ended working there, he had unfollowed me on Instagram. Uh. And there's two ways to look at it. Number one, okay, I'm his ex. I yeah. unfollow all my exes. Yeah, it makes fair. sense. Mm-hmm. But you're heading the team that I'm a part of mm. and you're still following everyone. But I was like, do you know what? Fair play. And he had started dating someone else that mm. was working there. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh, in the family. Okay. So I was like, do you know what? Fair play because I don't want her to feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Cool. And then there was a point where there were videos on my YouTube that he was in. And he had messaged me and said, you know, she feels a bit uncomfortable with these videos still being out. And I'm a very like reasonable person. I'd been having conversations with my brothers, like, I'm starting to. Me. <laughs> I'm you starting are better today. Than me. I don't want someone I date to see those videos and feel like, oh, is she still mm. into him or whatever? So I said, there is a time they'll come down. So I said, maybe this is the time. But I did say to him, there's some videos I'm still going to keep up because they got millions of views. Of course. I'm not mm. <clears throat> losing that money. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they're staying up. So I took them down. Then it got to like the end of, so we ended things maybe let's say it was like april mm-hmm. it gets to december he was the one that asked me to help with social media 
And I remember saying, this is a big job. I think you might need someone in-house. Mm. And he's like, no, you can do it part-time. Cool. Gets to December, I get a call, not from him, whose team I'm a part mm. of, who brought me onto this role, who I know in this mm. company. Someone else like, oh, yeah, we're thinking of getting someone in-house. So thanks for everything. I guess this eh? will be your last day. Wow. <laughs> Oh, and it wasn't even him mm. to be the one to be man enough to call me. Yeah. It was some someone else. Um, and I was like, do you know what? Okay, cool, whatever. It was starting to feel a bit awkward yeah. there anyway. And then, oh, what is more? because of that, I like, I'm a very nice person. I'm mm. very reasonable. Mm. If you take advantage of me in that sense, mm. it really aggravates me and angers me. So what did I do? I was petty. I put all the videos back up. They all went back up. <laughs> and, and so this is December 2019. Mm. Then it gets to lockdown starts, right? Mm. And it's when lockdowns are like March. Yeah. yeah. The very beginning. And I get a message from him and it says. He's like, what the fuck? I thought I told you to take down those videos. Why are you watching the videos like exactly, this? Exactly, man. Go and I saw page. a screenshot. Somebody mm. searched my name to see what videos came up it's too at 11pm. And my friend said to me, this is the time, especially during <laughs> lockdown when couples argue. Oh, she was searching right, okay. for you, found it, told him, what are you going to do about this? this? Is too much. And that's why he came let with so go, much money. Let go, let go, let go. And I'm like, never speak to me like that. Mm. I was nice, but mm. I wasn't a mug. I opened the message, didn't even say anything. Good. I was looking for jobs in social media mm. executive roles. And my sister was like, you know what, for now, take them down in case they have to go there for yeah. referencing. So I did take them down or whatever, but I never, ever spoke to it. But that's why I say mm. it was bad because it was amicable terms. Like mm. I will say we weren't meant mm. to be together. Yeah. Like we weren't each other's people. Mm -hmm. So it ended nicely. Mm -hmm. So the fact that that happened, I was like, mm. it's a shame. Yeah. You know when people have, have uh, issues and they involve their exes, yeah? I almost feel like the pe them people are not meant to be together. Yes. Because I feel like you would just kind of be a bit more mature and be like, listen, I'm so into you. I'm, I'm really obsessed with you. I don't care about anything else. Like you wouldn't go looking through, your, through the ex's thing and be yeah. like traces of it. Especially when you're told, listen, yeah. we used to work together. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, like, fine, like, you, like you, you even found him with me. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah, she booked our hotel. Mad when this we went away. Saying. But here's uh, the thing: what I will say is this: you are with him now. Mm, if I was, I'd be like, I'm with him. I don't yeah. care about who was before or yeah. you like. It's me now. Mm. It's you. I'm not. A, I'm nowhere near the situation at all. Scary. I went in no part. So it was just like, be sure of yourself and what you guys have. Yeah. I have nothing to exactly. do with it. Mm. Yeah, I, I even like whenever I talk to my friends and they're like their ex is trying to bring them back into their mm. situ their current situation with their new girl. I'm like. Why are you so obsessed? Mm. Like, just let go and let go. Yeah. Like, for real. It's like, but to me, it really does sound like you're in your relationship, like picking random fights. Like, you, should be, you should be arguing about somebody weeing on the toilets. Not, not arguing like, you about know your the, ex. Especially mm. what you guys say here all the time. Mm. Why am I in it? Why, why, am, why I in it? am I in it? Why am I, why am I in it? Your business. <laughs> I was literally mm. just, yeah. But I get why that's something because I always say to Jasmine, like, I would love if like I was friends with my ex. No, no, I would like, You know when you have that. a no. lovely, you know when you hear people say like, I'm friends with my ex. I, I feel so envious. Like, mm -mm. I'm just like, I don't, I don't know, believe in that. People, I don't mm -hmm. believe in it either. <laughs> but people, people be saying it, Jasmine. People be like, oh yeah, my ex came to my wedding. Like, mm -mm. okay, I'm not even if I, if I, but you know, if I even smell your ex at my wedding. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Lock off But like you know people like Oh yeah someone, uh, You know someone on the street Gives them a wave Like I It's, it's, it's really mature When people have to Oh no, no, a I wave like, yeah, A wave is right. fine what? But friend Because for me If I started to date you I didn't want you as a friend mm. Like yeah. I saw you In a certain light From the get go yeah. you know what, Me and Jess I had this conversation We were talking about Grey's Anatomy I'll give you guys So one of our <laughs> listeners Told me to give you guys A Grey's Anatomy update As I watch it <laughs> So I'll do that in a minute But I got upset With Grey's Anatomy Because George from Grey's Anatomy just kept fucking all of his friends mm. and for me you need to have the, the true value of friendship yeah don't be fucking your friends because yeah. now it's gonna be awkward like mm. don't yeah I when you maybe it's for me yeah when you have good friends cherish them don't mm -hmm. think ah oh, I'm gonna fuck them because they're buff mm -hmm. no you don't have a good friend mm, yeah. don't come to me and <laughs> complain anyways <laughs> as is a Jasmine yeah like I was trying to get my head around it and I was like maybe it was because I think Jasmine you said it's because when people date they say Date your friend Yeah And So does that mean Afterwards we date Like you know mm. Like you and your ex After you date You're friends now You go back to that friend stage But a lot of the times We don't We're just like yeah, well, like, like you know When you're I'm, dating someone And you say like This is also my best friend Kind of mm, thing mm. So it's like I feel like A lot of the time When you break up 
a lot of people can't accept that they also have to let go of the friendship. The friendship oh, you God, do. I and but also what I'm I gonna do. I, <laughs> God, I say this and like I hope if anyone future listening, they don't take offense. But I will never refer to my partner as my best friend mm. because I have best friends and I will never take that title away mm-hmm. from them. Mm-hmm. You are my husband, you are my boyfriend. That mm. if it means that you have best friend-esque qualities, mm. yes, but you are not my best friend. Mm. You can be a friend, I mm. guess, and that is hard to let go of, but let go mm. <laughs> when it's over. Mm, that is a true yeah. point. So do you think that's why when people break up, they remain friends because it's like, I can't let go of being yeah. a friend? Mm. I think so. Mm. Mad. Mad, mad, mad. Yeah. There's, there's no, I don't think there's a right or wrong way of doing oh, it no. though, mm, but mm, mm. For me, I, I mm. just, I do feel like exes need to be left in the past. In the past. Mm-hmm. Move mm-hmm. on for a reason. That's yeah. it. Yeah. That is your ex for a reason. reason. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> right, Leone, we have got to wrap up soon. Oh, but um, mm-hmm. let us know, is there anything that you plan to be doing? Like, what's on the horizon for you? Um, So I'm coming back to YouTube hey. um, after a long, long time. Mm-hmm. Um, And I'm going to be doing vlogs again. So I've been vlogging the whole process of trying to get a place, a mm-hmm. uh, rent a place as oh, a freelance content mm-hmm. creator. So like showing Was it people. hard renting as a content creator? Like getting... Yeah, wow. so I, I had to like save up. So I paid like four months rent in advance. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> and even just finding people out because some places... I had money saved up. So some places I could have got and paid six months rent. Some places the money I had saved, it would be free. It would be four. And it's also finding the right estate agent. Mm -hmm. I say, if you feel like they're giving you vibes of they don't really care, run, Mm -hmm. find another one type thing. Um, And it's, it was it was a lot, and I felt like I was on right moves more than I was on Instagram. Mm-mm. Yeah, every morning just wow. waking up, checking because they go like that. Wow. So yeah, that will all be on YouTube yeah, yeah. coming back and everything. Yeah, oh, that's amazing. We're happy for you. Mm-hmm. Thank yeah. you. Amazing. Thank you so much for coming on the pod. Thank yeah. you for having a lovely me. guest. Yeah, you've been wonderful. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, wait. You guys normally do black excellence of the yes, world. Yes, we do. Yes, wow, fact, this we is the first well. time a guest has actually dragged us and been like, <laughs> so where is it? I've okay. got one though. Okay. Oh, you actually listen, though. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, what's your black excellence? Um, so I was at the Brits and I saw Dave perform. Mm. I didn't know he could play so many instruments. That guy's talented. He's that talented. talented. So t- I was there with like my manager Chloe yeah. and Tega, and I was like, I didn't. And they were like, You didn't know? I was like, No. Yeah, but yeah, because he was on the piano, uh, electric guitar, everything. Mm. Yeah, so that's my. Oh, I love that. Yeah. What was it like seeing him live? It was really good and seeing like everybody come out mm. as well. I keep saying I really want to watch a lot of these performances back on TV because I feel like mm. they were done more for TV than yeah. the what live was the audience. Like? She was she was really cool. I guess I saw her more on her acceptance speech, mm-hmm. but she was on the further backstage mm-hmm. for her um, singing performance. Yeah. So that I want to watch back as yeah. well. Yeah, I I actually didn't watch all of the Brits. I watched an hour point. Mm. Do you know what? Yeah, I think I do have FOMO because obviously I don't have FOMO, but I do have it with TV stuff, right? Mm. Where I have to see it through, like the Tinder thing. I had to see it through, like, but. I was like, I don't need to watch this. I'm going to see it on socials anyways. <laughs> like, I saw Little Sims' performance on socials. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I was getting a little bit bored. I was like, yeah, I don't need to watch this. But, um, yeah, I, I I saw Dave's one. I was like, yeah, this guy is ridiculous. Mm. Yeah, ridiculous. He, he is really amazing. Mm. Yeah. Um, my black excellences are going to be Nella Rose and Manya. Obviously, they mm. hosted the red carpet yeah. at the Brits, which is just amazing. Mm. Um, We actually met Manya at a party last year. I was like, did we? <laughs> we did actually. Yeah. yeah, we did. And he's like, really cool, really good vibes. So, yeah. um, Do you know yeah, what's so funny? Good. Yeah, because we saw him at a party, a Halloween party, dress up party. Mm-mm. He came in. Is that my phone pin, is it? So he came in mm. as... As a rocket. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then he, and he was like doing this, like putting his thumbs up. It was so funny. Yeah. I swear to God, five minutes later, he came back as Salt Bay. Yeah. I said, who <laughs> is doing it like you? Yeah. And and where are you storing your outfit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where, 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 <laughs> yeah, so random. very, very, yeah, Jazz is right. He was very lovely, actually. Mm. Uh, my black excellence is Toby Rachel. She mm. bought her own house, yeah. her own flat. I know it's about home ownership at the beginning. Mm. And 
um, when she does her testimony, I don't know if she's ever going to talk about the whole process, but she's someone that when she says she's going to do it, she's going to do it. And mm. she did it. And I'm so proud of her. And I think she's incredible. Um, go follow her house page called House of Adura. I think it's called House of Adura. But go Adura. on to Toby Rachel mm. and go on to her um, bio thing and you can find her house page. It's really cute. Mm. Um, and... I really find her house very unique because she painted the doors black. Really, really cute. Mm. Anyways, um, also she has got a new job. She's working at Joe Media as a social editor. Um, but yeah, I'm just really proud of her. Mm. Just really proud of my friend, you know? Um, but yeah. That's it, y'all, for mm. this week's episode. Yeah. Oh, my grades are asking me. Maybe I'll come back next week. Yeah, I'll come back yeah. next week and tell you about it. Yeah, we'll do it next week. All right, bye, lads. Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye. bye.